Spitting at Imam Ali, Wisdom Story In the early years of Islam in the Arab lands, the newly converted Muslims waged many wars with others who did not yet believe in Islam, people widely known as infidels. In one war, Ali, the Prophet's son-in-law, who was a very competent warrior, came face to face with another capable soldier. Ali succeeded in bringing his opponent to his knees in a short, sharp fight and raised his swords to take the man's life. The proud soldier believed that his end was imminent, and all he could think to do was take one last spiteful action. He spat at Ali, right in the face. Ali immediately withdrew his sword and stepped back, sparing the man's life. The subdued warrior was stunned. He had expected the worst and now was perplexed that he was still alive. He needed an explanation. He needed to know why Ali had taken pity on him. Before Ali could walk away from their encounter, the warrior called out to him, Ali, you had drawn your sword to finish me off but changed your mind. What made you drop your weapon? What did you see in me when we fought that made you lose interest and spare my life? You had the upper hand. You'd won the fight. What else was more important than finishing me off? What suppressed your anger at that instant? I only fight for God, responded Ali. I'm God's servant. I'm not in the business of saving my own skin. I'm God's unbeatable lion, not a whimsical warrior of passion. Not words, but actions speak for my belief. The sword might be in my hand, but it is God who strikes. Just like the wind cannot move a mountain, I too shall not move other than by God's will. Anger makes most kings lose their heads, but anger is my obedient slave. It's indeed my patience that has freed me from the yoke of anger. My sword does not kill. Instead, it bestows life. You spat at me and thus raised an issue that did not directly involve God, and I never fight for any reason other than God. Your spitting aroused my ego and thus sparked off my anger. Had I used my sword, I would have been fighting half for God and half for my ego. That's why I thought it best to withdraw my sword. Ali then turned to walk away without looking back. 